The last thing we're going to do is we're going to apply a filter to the adult cover again to work on the style of the cover to give us the mood or the intent of the book which is more of a thriller scary type novel. We want this to just apply to the graphics not to the text so I'm going to hide the text layers as well as the background layer and I'm going to click on flowers. So what I want to do and we've done this before is I want to combine those layers into one layer and leave the other one still intact in case I ever want to go back and edit. So I'm going to press Control, Alt, Shift in the letter E, or Command, Option, Shift, E on the Mac. And now I have them combined into one layer. So if I hide the ones below it, you'll notice that the picture is still there, but now it's all compressed into one layer. I'm going to turn my text back on. And with my new layer one selected, which is, let's double click on that, Final Adult Graphics. Okay, this is what we're going to apply our filter to. I'm going to select Filter. And you'll notice the Filter Gallery is not available because we are working in CMYK, not in RGB. So what we would need to do first is go to Image, Mode, turn on RGB. We don't want to merge. Then we go back to Filter. We point to Filter Gallery. And now we can start adding our elements. I'm going to change this to fit in the view so I can see the whole door. And the first thing I want is a crosshatch. So I'm going to go into brush strokes. I'm going to select crosshatch. And you can see how it makes the image look a little blurry. So I'm going to bring down the stroke length just a little bit, probably to around six. And you can see that it's recalibrating the effect. And I'm going to bring my sharpness up to about 10. And I'm going to leave my length alone. Okay, now if I turn off my visibility icon for crosshatch, we can see what the difference is. And it does start to give it a little bit more intense feeling to it. And now another thing I want to add is a texture. So I'm going to click on the new effect layer icon. Notice it duplicated my crosshatch. I now have two versions of it. I'm going to change the top one on the texture. I'm going to select texturizer. And I want to change this. We're going to keep it a canvas, but I'm going to bring my scaling down to about 80% to reduce the intensity of the canvas lines. And I'm going to leave the relief at 4 and the light at the top. So if I turn my texturizer off and on again, you can see the subtle variance that's happening between it, but it does add a little something. Now keep in mind we're looking at this at approximately 50%. If I turn off the crosshatch and leave the texturizer on, we can also see the influence between those two items. Okay, I'm going to click OK. And we can see that this does start to give us a new type of appearance to it that starts to look a little bit more scary. Let's go into our layer styles one more time. Now we're applying it to our new graphic that we just applied our filters to. And let's go into a color overlay. And let's see what we can do with that. Let's get a darker color, maybe in the shades of brown and I'm going to click OK. We're going to go ahead and reduce our opacity so that we can start to let the background bleed through a little bit. And then I want to play with my blend mode. Now if I select my blend mode, see now the normal has turned white and the bar is blue, I can use my arrows on my keyboard to begin scrolling through to look at the various changes caused by the blend mode. And again, what I'm trying to do is make it look a little darker, a little more creepy, more of a thriller style book. An overlay actually looks pretty good, but let me keep going to see what the other ones look like. Vivid light is pretty intense. And again, you can just scroll through, through these with your arrow, which makes it a lot easier. Hue is actually pretty cool, but we'd actually have to go back and change our stroke colors because of the change in the color on the flowers. Okay, I think I like overlay, so I'm gonna go back up now on my up arrow and I'm going to choose Overlay. And again, we can play with the opacity some more if we want to bring that down just a tad more to see what the change is. And here's our before and here's our after by just adding a little bit of a color overlay effect. I'm going to click OK. And we're done with our adult cover. Again, just by looking at design principles, contrast, proximity, alignment, and repetition, 
we can change the look and feel of a cover that's got the same title and essentially some of the same images. We just changed the door, but we used the same flowers. We were able to make two totally different feels for a book through color, through the style of the font, and through filters.